All right, this has nothing to do with the video, but the votes are in. We're half and half on pumpkin spice season, and you know what? I respect your opinion. That's fair. Your opinion may not be right, but you know what? It's all good, dude. We're all friends here. Hell yeah, brother. What's up, guys? Big T here. Uh, subject to change because I can't keep up with the other guy that has my name. I'm gonna go ahead and watch the Black Ops Cold War trailer and give you guys a little short description of it. Oh yeah, edgy title text, baby. That's how you know it's gonna be a good Call of Duty. Call of Duty returning to form Black Ops. Black Ops secret mission. Undercover. Alright, we got helicopters crashing. Uh, it's 1980. Uh, something about war. They we're in the White House. We got some old presidents. Uh, more guns shooting, walking around stuff, cinematic explosions, explosions, Michael Bay on steroids. Pre-order for the early access multiplayer beta next month. Um, and get an instant digital pre-order bonus for Modern Warfare, cause, alright, all sure. It's pretty much exactly like last year's trailer, and the year before that, my point is, why are people still buying this game day one? It, it kind of shocks me that this is still as popular as it is. I mean, I get it, Call of Duty's fun, but like, day one, millions of people are buying this every single year without fail. It's the exact same game, dude. Oh, but T, it's like the Madden of, it's the Madden of first person shooters. Yeah, I don't get why people are buying that every year either. I guess I just don't know video games, dude. I'm not a real gamer. I don't buy Call of Duty every year. It comes out in November, like a week before Cyberpunk, and as long as Cyberpunk isn't on its 50th cancellation, I'm probably gonna go with that. I think that's a much better use of my $60. If you guys didn't know, if you followed my channel for a little bit, you would know that when Modern Warfare came out, I bought it used for like 40 bucks. Didn't support Activision, still played the game, and it was still littered with microtransactions like we knew it would be, which I think is kind of scummy, but whatever. You guys remember when you could just go into Black Ops 2 and buy a DLC skin for like two bucks. Now I think it costs like $20 and you only get the skin on one gun. Could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. Kinda sucks. You know, they're bringing back the original Black Ops character for the campaign. I think his name's Mason or something. Didn't really play the Black Ops campaign, so I don't know. Call of Duty campaigns are alright, but I mean, it's all the same thing. It's like, oh, we're going to war, and we're gonna we're gonna shoot some people, and there's gonna be a lot of explosions and over-the-top action, and that's, that's the story. I mean, you played one Call of Duty campaign, you played them all. I've basically played every Call of Duty campaign since I played Modern Warfare. It all kind of sums up to... Oh, we're going to war, and we gotta kill the other guys, because the other guys are bad. I mean, it's whatever. I enjoyed the multiplayer. Multiplayer hasn't been as good as it could be since Modern Warfare 2. And what's with not showing the multiplayer trailer? I mean, everybody knows that's what the majority of these people are gonna be playing. They already got the trailer done. They showed, like, two seconds of it. Why are you making us wait a week for the multiplayer trailer, dude? Just show it all at once. I mean, what are you hiding? We know what it's gonna be. It's Call of Duty multiplayer. It's like Black Ops 4 with a different campaign. I wanted to go into this video saying that this was gonna be, like, the return to form for the Black Ops series. This was gonna be very successful considering how Black Ops 4 was such a misstep, in my opinion, even though it was still technically successful. We all know it wasn't as great as it could be. Nobody liked the futuristic stuff. Okay, the majority of people probably didn't love the futuristic stuff. They made it boots on the ground, but the game was still futurist. Whatever. I didn't like it. My power's probably gonna go out. And I wanted to be hype about this. I wanted to be excited about this, but I don't know. I'm just really not. It's the exact same formula every single game. And physical buyers of this game are getting shafted. Imagine that. If you want to buy the PS4 version and possibly look to upgrade it to the PS5 version, that's gonna cost you 10 bucks. If you buy the PS5 version, you're stuck on the PS5 version, so you can't play the PS4 version, and you get no pre-order bonuses with the physical version whatsoever. You don't get the multiplayer beta, you don't get the uh, the new skin that you unlock for Modern Warfare if you pre-order. You get nada. So, like, if you just wanted to pre-order the game so you could play the beta and see if you liked it before you pre-ordered the entire game, yeah, I guess you're not gonna do that unless you find some way around it, which I'm sure somebody will or whatever, but the point is, you're, like, punishing people for buying the physical version. That's the only reason I buy console games anymore. More, so that really sucks. Who's buying this game day one? I mean, a lot of people are. Are you buying this day one? Are, okay, are you really buying this day one? I wish I could go back to when I was like in the hype and I wanted to get every Call of Duty day one, but it's, it's just so worn out now for me, man. And then you're telling me if I want to buy the physical version, you're shafting me and I don't get to participate in the beta, dude? Really? Dude, that's not cool, man. I don't like that. I guess the point I'm trying to make here with this video is it's basically going to be the same thing we've played for the past couple of years. It's going to be riddled with microtransactions. It's going to be $60 even though I don't really think it should be. My recommendation is to uh, not pre-order this, 
not buy it day one. Instead, consider buying it used. Unless you're buying it on PC or really just dead set on getting it digitally for some reason, which um, kind of n negates the used thing, but you get what I'm saying. Just a little video, my initial thoughts of the Black Ops trailer. It's kind of, it's Call of Duty. New videos coming soon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Yeah.